Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys so much. I have an important message for you guys, so let's get right into your messages. Okay, my beautiful loves, happy holidays to all of you. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a beautiful uh, holiday and you are not any letting anybody interrupt your energy um, project your dark energies towards you or ruin your day in any way, shape, or form, okay? You guys have to stay 10 toes down. You got to stay aware of your surroundings because in this reading, it's basically like, it's a, it's like a warning for you guys about somebody, all right? There's somebody here that's holding on to some sort of resentment towards you or hostility towards you, my beautiful Aries, all right? And this person could be somebody in your family, Somebody close, this could be a sibling, this could be a child, this could be anybody in your life, all right? This person is holding on to some sort of resentment when it comes to you, um, okay? Because this person was a part of the attacks in your life. This person was a part of the um, trying to defeat you, slandering your name, gossiping about you, teaming up against you to try to destroy you. Um, and now that you are on another path, now that you're in your... Um, purpose or you're headed to your purpose and you have awakened you have become enlightened to these attacks that this individual in your family orchestrated these attacks all right this person wanted everybody in your family to turn their back on you so this person started to attack you this person started to play the victim all right there was a time in this person's life where uh they went through something aries this person went through something this is going to resonate with some of you guys this person in your life or in your family they went through something in the past right and you guys could have been going through something when this person was going through something. So, you know, you couldn't help this person as much as you wanted to, but you were always there for them. Okay, you could have been there for this person. All right, they could have went to jail. They could have they could have had like an accident. They could have had surgery. They could have lost their place. Uh, they could have been going through a whole um like they could have been going through a whole like uh what you call that when you have like a mental breakdown somebody could have been going through that somebody could have been going somebody could have been dealing with addictions whatever this person was dealing with in the past and i'm talking about in the past this could have been five or ten years ago that this person is holding on to a grudge from all the way five or ten years ago because this person felt like you left them out in the cold like you wasn't there for them when they were going through this but what i'm picking up from my ancestors and spirit guides is that you guys were there for this person as much as you possibly could cuz you guys weren't doing so well at the time or maybe you were going through your own conflict at the time and this person felt like you were supposed to be there for them but you were there for them as much as you could now 5 years 10 years later this person is still holding on to a grudge this person might have never told you this that they were holding on to this grudge aries but they really are holding on to this grudge because um just um Wait for this person to reach out. So somebody's going to be reaching out. If this hasn't happened yet, this will happen. I don't know if they're going to reach out or they're going to be triggered by something you say or something you post online. And this person is going to have the nerve to uh, sit there and play the victim and make it seem like nobody was there for them when they were going through this and that. Because now they're feeling entitled to your energy. They're feeling entitled to your blessing. They're feeling entitled to your life. But this person knows that you have exposed them along with other people in your life that they were a part of the of you being targeted, of you being attacked, of you being slandered, of you being um, called crazy, all right? This person could have had uh, people getting information on you, giving it to this person, all right? They could have been paying for information. They could have been digging up there or they could have been a part of the attacks in your life. But this same person is now feeling... Like they were a victim, that you weren't there for them, and that that's why they literally attacked you. They're making an excuse or they're telling you their motive. There's person actually telling on themselves when they come towards you, acting like, oh, you were never there for me, and blah, 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 playing the victim. You're going to know that this person held on to some sort of grudge from five to ten years ago, and that's why they were a part of that attack onto you. That's why this person betrayed you, turned their back on you, and did the most. Now this person wants you to, wants to feel validated for their actions because they're actually telling people that you were never there for them, that you left them out in the cold. So this person has been gossiping about you, spreading lies and rumors about you till this day. Okay, so this is the person that you need to be aware of. King of Swords in reverse. This person is very dark-spirited. All right, this person has a dark mindset. This person is feeling 
uh, triggered by your uh, independence. I said that in yesterday's video. This is the one. This person is very triggered by your independence. This person is triggered by your awakening. This person is triggered by uh, that you're uh, blessed by the Most High God and you're doing good and you're not um, in them streets or you're not hungry and you're able to pay your own rent or bills. They have the nerve to feel triggered because of it. So they want to come towards you and play the victim. Mm -mm. King of Swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Very low vibrational individual. This person has some sort of ego. This person feels like they are above other people or they treat people like without. This person does not respect their own friends. This person wants people to look up to them, to follow them. To uh, Maybe there's people. This person could have friends that are actually afraid to speak up their truth to this. This person's like a bully. All right. This is giving me a bully energy. This person has been a bully all their life and they have the nerve to play the victim. Okay. But this person, I don't know. This person has a bunch of friends. That do whatever this person says because they're afraid of this person. Now, this person's own friends are starting to realize that this karmic family member, whether it's a brother, whether it's a cousin, whether it's a father figure, whoever this is, mother, this is a karmic in your life, in your family, all right? That they want to see you struggling. They want to see you juggling. They don't want you to have it all. They want you to be down and out, okay? Uh, this person doesn't like the fact that you're not juggling and struggling because maybe this person's doing not doing so good. Maybe this person's juggling or struggling. Maybe this person doesn't have it easy like before because now the tables have shifted. The tables have turned. This person's under judgment for all the spiritual attacks they did onto you with their wicked tongue, okay? Their wicked tongue has done a lot of spell work on you and blocked you. This person's currently trying to get you in your feelings. This person's currently trying to make you feel guilty for something that that you never did to them all right this person is delusional okay this person's upset because you're with your soulmate or this person's upset because your soulmate's coming into your life your soulmate is um you and your soulmate are about to come together you're about to get an offer or things are going good in your life six of wands you're having victory or success with your soulmate with a lover with a partner this person never wanted you to be in Listen, this person in your family never wanted you to be in love with somebody. This person never wanted somebody to love you. This person never wanted anybody to see you as an empress, male or female, very divine, loving, and nurturing, and the queen of wands sitting in your throne, very beautiful, blessed, talented, and gifted, because you woke up to the truth, and this person's under judgment. I can't even make it up. I shuffled this deck. I'm just pulling cards off the bottom of the deck here. All right, the sneaky energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, sneaky energy. They're very sneaky and they want to put you in the mental prison. And they want you to feel like you did something wrong to them. They want other people to feel like you're selfish and you're winning, but you're acting like a victim. But you are actually were the victim in this situation. You were actually targeted. You were actually betrayed. This person even... Uh, teamed up with one of your exes here if this is a family member and an ex teamed up together okay these two people are under judgment all right while you're sitting here moving towards the light moving towards fulfillment moving towards love loving yourself and self-respect and winning okay and accomplishing your goals this person is going through some sort of judgment in the justice system this person could have been uh could be going to court for something all right, this person could have been involved in illegal activities, all right, but they're going to sit here and throw swords at you because what they're going through right now is that they might go to jail. They're in eight of swords energy, all right, while you're moving forward, liberated from all their attacks, and you're getting the seven of pentacles, a money pay raise, and they're in the nine of wands, all right? This message is coming out very clear for whoever this is resonating for. This person is going to play victim. They're going to try to bring you down. They're going to try to upset you. This person's feeling some type of way around the holidays, all right, because you're independent, you're doing good for yourself, or you're not needing their help, all right? And maybe, I don't know, like maybe this person wants to start up some sort of rumors or gossip about you all over again. People are not listening to this person anymore. People are not having it. They're not believing this because they clearly see you're doing good, all right? And you are uh, in your own lane, like you're independent. All right, but this person's going to try to trigger you guys. Whether this is a, I said, this could be anybody in your life. And this person knows that you defeated all the odds that were placed against you, against all odds. All right, you're, you're doing better now. And they can't stand it. All right, and now let me go to the next message that I have for you guys. And I have a couple names here. All right, there's somebody here. All right, that's recognizing you and admiring you for your strength. All right, and there's also somebody here. That feels like when you came into this person's life, this person was broken. This person was going through something. This person was like having a lot of anxiety. This person didn't know which way their life was headed. All right. This person was feeling all alone. 
even though you didn't have much Aries, all right, when you came into this person's energy or their life or they met you or you gave them a message of encouragement, you 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 help this person see clear to find a clear perspective of their life. You help this person awaken and detach from karmics and individuals to stand up for themselves. This person is really admiring you right now. This person feels like they feel like you are worthy of their love. You are worthy of their offer of love. And this person will love to marry you guys. This person will love to uh, put you on a throne and um, cater to you because this person knows the, the, the type of person that you are. It doesn't matter if you have a lot or a little. You will still show up for other people. You will still be there for them. I mean, like, you were there for this person. Even though this person in your family isn't giving you recognition or whatever for what you did for them and everything you've been through and they're trying to play the victim, there's somebody else that's standing up for you and somebody else that knows that you were there for them and that you are a good person and that you will go out of your way for people even if you didn't have it. You're not that type of person. This person is coming towards you with some sort of offer. And I wrote a poem because this is how I got this message in the first place. So I wrote a poem about this uh, person that's admiring you, right? And I'm going to read it to you guys very quickly because this person feels like when you found this person, when you came into their life, they were in a broken place spiritually, mentally, emotionally, all right? Maybe even financially. I don't know. But you help somebody and this person uh, is in love with you guys. This person is in love with you guys. All right, this person admires you, they're getting to know you, and they see the type of person that you really are, okay? So this person might come to give you an offer, they can give you an engagement ring, they can give you a promise ring, they could bring you a gift for Christmas, but they're going to give you your recognition. For everybody, the situation is going to play out differently, but somebody here is giving you the recognition, and they want to be with you, Aries, they want to partner with you, all right? They want to collaborate, or they want a relationship, all right? Let's get into this poem. And this is how this person's feeling about you. You found me broken. I never believed I was chosen. You had this confidence, the spark in your eyes, so rare. I can't help but stare. Nothing compares. A breath of fresh air. I could be myself, so I opened up. Can you fix me with your love? You see past my scars. Wow. All the way to my heart. Wow, this person feels like you saw past their scars. You treated them as an individual. This person feels like you can fix them with your love. Let me let me continue. All right? So I open up. Can you fix me with your love? You see past my scars all the way to my heart. I know you were sent by God to bring me back to life. Like sipping fine wine, time after time, you blow my mind. This time it's for keeps. So I get down on my knee and say, will you marry me? Wow, this is beautiful. I'm about to cry, Aries. All right, because if no matter what's going on with you guys, no matter, no matter who gives you credit, no matter who points their finger at you and says you wasn't there for them and tries to put you down, treat, making you seem like the monster, no, that's not who you are. This person actually knows who you really are. This person actually uh, sees your value and your worth, and they're going to express this to you guys if they haven't done so already, all right? And this person might not have the ring, or they might not have a wedding ring for you right now, but this person is manifesting um, to get you a wedding ring and to propose to you, I mean, because this person never met anybody like you, okay, with your kind of heart. Even though you've been through it all, you have a lot of scars, you can still show up for people. You can still encourage them. You can still give them um, compliments, you know. You can still help with whatever you can. You are the person that shows up for other people. And this person has the audacity to make you seem like the person that never showed up for them when that was a lie. You probably showed up for this person all your life, but they never gave you credit. All right, now they're playing victim because you're doing good. You're about to receive some sort of blessing or you have been. All right, so let me read this poem again. This is how this person is feeling about you. You found me broken. I never believed I was chosen. You had this confidence, the spark in your eyes, so rare. I can't help but stare. Nothing compares. A breath of fresh air. I could be myself. So I open up. Can you fix me with your love? You see past my scars all the way to my heart. I know you were sent by God to bring me back to life. Like sipping fine wine time after time, you blow my mind. This time is for keeps. So I get down on my knee and say, will you marry me? Wow, that's a beautiful poem right there. That's, that's how somebody's feeling about you. And then you got somebody else that's trying to uh, throw some sort of swords at you with some negative energy, with some lies. 
and trying to play the victim, okay? So, you know, if this isn't happening, when the more strength that you gain, the more wisdom that you gain, the more knowledge that you gain, the more confidence that you gain, the more you stand up for yourself, the more independent that you become, you're going to have somebody come towards you like that, playing the victim as if, you know, you owe them something or you weren't there for them, blah, 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 okay? So try to make you feel guilty. It's not going to work, okay? That's a, that's some sort of weird-ass uh, energy here, okay? But nonetheless, there's somebody here that recognizes you for the star that you are, for how amazing you are, for the confidence that you exude, for how you believed in them and how you fixed this person when they were in a broken place, okay? So congratulations for your strength, your courage, and um, all the love that you give, all right? Never let nobody take you for granted. Excuse my nails. I popped all my nails off. I'm going to get them done. But I didn't want to delay your video because of my nails. Because that's BS. I could care less, right? All right, so let's get into this message. I got a couple names here. And I'm going to read them real quick before I pull the cards. I got Ebony. I got Rick, Ricky or Rick. Richard. Charlie or Charles. I got Angel or Angela. Angie. Angelica, Brenda, Brandon, Reynaldo, Brian, Amari. Those are the names that I channeled when I got this message. All right, so if any other names pop out, I will um, let you know. What is the message, Spirit? Wow, I am not even surprised that you guys are popping out here. You guys are popping out here. Look, this is you. This is you. The strength card, you are a true warrior of light. You are strong. You are resilient, all right? You're not sitting there um, blaming people for what they did or didn't do. You're taking responsibility for your own life. You're getting out of your feelings and you're being courageous, all right? And you're letting go of that uh, resentment or guilt or whatever people try to place upon you, all right? You are not. Uh, uh, you don't have animosity for these people. You're just having the strength in your life to protect your own energy, and create what you need to create because you're coming out as a queen of wands, male or female. Very confident and blessed, you know, achieving great success, all right? Being admired, recognized, all right? That's that's for all your hard work. Nobody did that for you. You did that for yourself. So when somebody's coming towards you right now around the holidays and they're being like this and they're acting like a victim and they're feeling entitled, all right? Stand your ground, all right? Don't let them dim your light, all right? Because they're sneaky. I can't make it up. I just pulled the deck, and pulled the cards, shuffled the deck, and here goes the seven of swords. It came right back out, all right? This person's sneaky. They're feeling some type of way. They're shady because you're having a new cycle with the world card. Your life is expanding and they can't slow you down with their gossip, with their lies, with their BS, all right? Because <clears throat> nobody's listening to this person anymore. People are looking at them sideways now. All right, whoever this person is, male or female, <clears throat> in your life. I heard Andy or Andrew, Andrea, Audrey or Aubrey, Allison. Carol or Caroline. Trisha or Patricia. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. Things are going good for you guys in this uh, energy. I see the Strength card, the World card, the Ace of Wands in the upright, and the Queen of Wands. You got some major blessing coming. Somebody loves you. They're passionate about you. They want to marry you. They want to give you the world. They want to recognize you. They want to put you on a, a, in a pedestal and tell everybody how good you are. Make it, you know, you know. And this person right here is triggered because there's somebody else. That's holding you in high regard, that's putting you on the pedestal, that wants to be with you, that wants to build a life with you, and this person's upset about that. That's what it all boils down to right now. That's the truth, the moon card. Mm -hmm. This person can't, can't, it can't stand to see you happy, all right, because this person was a part of the attacks in your life here, all right? They're feeling so defeated by your strength and courage, by your uh, breakthrough. You can have a product. You can be world renowned. You can be online. You can be going viral. Whatever's going on, you're making more money. You're a, you're your own boss. Whatever you do, this person is so triggered. I cannot make it up. All right, and I'm gonna get out this energy because this person doesn't even deserve my energy. They don't even deserve your energy. For real, for real. All right, this person is is pathetic. That's what I think. They're really pathetic. They need to go reflect. All right, they need to stop blaming you for their woes and take responsibility for their actions in their life and stop blaming you. All right, because this person actually took part of, in attacking you. You never attacked this person. You would never team up with people to attack this person, but this person did it to you. All right, now they're playing victim. All right, you could be Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Northern, Venus. This could resonate. You could be dealing with another Aries. This could resonate, okay? 
whatever it is, put the message how it fits your story or situation. Leave leave what doesn't fit. You know what I mean? Take what resonates and leave the rest. You know how this goes. All right. And there's always somebody leaving me a stupid comment. All right. Please don't bother leaving me a stupid comment because I'm not going to respond. I'm not giving you my energy. I will just block you off my channel. All right. Because if the truth hurts, too bad. Don't come over here. Don't watch my channel. All right. Because there's a mother figure here. All right. That's been keeping secrets, holding receipts, not telling somebody about some sort of house or home. All right. That belongs to them. Somebody here could be moving away from a mother figure. Information coming fast could leave you shook about the information that comes to light with this mother figure did. This doesn't have to be your mother, but it's a mother figure in your life that was uh, a part of these spiritual attacks onto you. And now that you're remaining balanced and focused, this person is losing sleep. All right. You're spiritually healing right now. Yeah. Somebody here is leaving a third party. All right. Or they're walking away from karmics. Like I said, you help this person a lot. You help them awaken and focus. All right, there's a miracle of justice here in your life. And somebody here needs your signature. They need you to sign a paper. Don't sign no paper. If somebody's telling you to sign a paper for them and you know you can't trust these shady family members, do not sign on the dotted line. They're trying to take you out for insurance money, honey. I'm trying to tell you. Whoever you are, I've been talking to you for about the whole month now. All these readings are coming out with somebody here trying to get your signature information or something weird so they can get a freaking insurance policy on you or they did that and they've been trying to have you cause you an accident all right poison you all right to, uh, to have you have some sort of major health concern chemicals chemical warfare energy weapons all of it they've been doing to you guys crown chakra attacks they want you to feel like a victim. They want you to be afraid to leave your house. But this ain't it. You guys are fearless and confident. These people are feeling so defeated. All right? Somebody got exposed. There was a recorded phone call or a video. This person could be watching your content. If you are a content creator or you posting on social media, this person is watching everything that you post. There's some sort of hidden documents that's coming out to the light too. New job, business deal, or promotion. Somebody wants to collaborate. Are you getting a promotion or business deal or uh, sign some sort of contract? Congratulations. You have good karma, but you work for this. Nobody gave you anything that you have. Hmm. Yeah, this person's starting to irritate me right now. I want to get out this energy, but this person's spreading a lot of gossip, lies, rumors. This person's triggered. They're feeling some type of way. All right. Somebody's name could be Tom or Tommy, Thomas, but this person could be a peeping Tom stalker energy. Teamwork, they've been working in a team, all right? So make sure that uh, you guys, if you don't have a camera in front of your house, all right, make sure you keep your doors locked, your windows locked. There's no way for somebody to get sneak into your home. I don't know. Somebody's a real stalker. Somebody's obsessed. Like I said before, somebody got a restraining order on someone. This person's psycho, all right? This person is stalking you or they're, they're, they're obsessed, all right? But this person is also in fear because this person is going to end up in jail. If you didn't get a restraining order on this person, they might, you might need to for somebody watching, not for everybody, all right? Or just have a camera in front of your property or home, get a blink ring door camera or something, all right? Because this person's creeping me out. There's a karmic female, all right, here. That's obsessed and upset because you're getting some sort of engagement or proposal or somebody's coming towards you. A cousin and an uncle could be under judgment or uncle passed and left you a whole bunch of money. For somebody, your uncle could be your real father could be your uncle. Oh, wow. I'm not getting into that. Good news is here. You're getting good news. All right. Let's try again. Somebody's coming towards you, but they want to try again. And like I said, there's someone that's really going to... At, that's admiring you, that's going to tell you how they're feeling or they're putting you in a, on a pedestal or holding you in high regard, all right? They, they could be doing this publicly and this other person is so triggered by this recognition that you're getting, by this offer that you're getting, by the way things are turning out in your life. The tables have turned and shifted, all right? Keep your head up, but you guys really need to transmute energies. You really need to do some sort of uh, seven chakra clearing meditation. You need to do call back your energy meditation. You need to take your spiritual baths and cleanses. All right, save your home or space. All right, because somebody here is doing everything in their power to bring you down. All right, and this this is why I said put your guard up to this person. Don't entertain them. Don't let them get you in your feelings. Don't let them affect you. Speak your truth. This is your message. Till the next time, my loves. If you need a personal, my email's down below. All right, if 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 you need a phone call reading or a video reading. If you guys are interested in Crown Chakra, email me. I'm always here. Thank you for your love, donations. I appreciate you guys. May God bless you tenfold. Namaste.